And welcome to Rescues in Action. With me, Jeremy from Suncoast Bassett Rescue. Correct. And you have brought with you Fred and Wilma, Hanna-Barbera, right here in front of us. That's it, not to be confused with the Flintstones. We have Fred, who we're thinking is about seven years old, and then Wilma, who's kind of hiding behind him here, is about eight years old, we're Wh thinking. Where'd you pick these guys up? Because it's a unique story. Uh, the unique story with him is that we picked these guys up around Orange County area. They actually came in as a stray together. So they were wandering the streets together? Mm-hmm. And these two are definitely bonded. There's no two ways about it. We've just, you know, tried to see how when the dog comes in, we try to see if we can separate them because it's easier to adopt out one dog than it is for two dogs. And uh, these two are definitely bonded at the hip. So these are a pair. If you're going to get one, you have to get the other. Yeah, this is kind of the buy one, get one free deal. Because you were telling me something interesting, too. When this one, this one does, they don't say much. They don't bark. They don't howl that much. But when this one howls and wants to play, he only wants to play with her. Primarily, yep. That's an amazing thing. Yeah, you're definitely bonded together. You were also telling me a sad situation about uh, they were probably kept in a crate for a while. What's that? Unfortunately, um, with a lot of dogs that come in as surrenders and whatnot and strays, um, they were kept in a crate primarily most of their life. So poor Fred and Wilma here, they don't have their front teeth. Um, it doesn't affect their eating in any way, shape, or form, as you can tell by their size. But uh, they weren't too keen on being kept in the crate. But we've kind of reconditioned them now to where they'll go in there to sleep and then they'll come out to just relax. Okay. One thing that we should <laughs> know about... Oh, it's Sorry, okay. Baby. It's okay. One thing we should know about Bassett's, uh, we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. it's a big nose with legs. That's it. They, once you find a scent, or whether once they find a scent, they're gone. So um, they love their walks. Um, typically, no matter where you want to walk them, this is what leads them is their nose. It's funny, as they were coming into the uh, studio here, it was just nose down, mm -hmm. walking straight forward. Fred and Wilma, they're good to go, correct? Yep, Fred and Wilma are good to go. They get along well with other dogs, um, cats. They love kids of all ages. Um, they're very well behaved. They don't make a whole lot of noise aside from this one when he thinks he's getting hurt for some reason. And if, if someone wants to uh, get in touch with you about Fred and Wilma, what do they do? The easiest way to get a hold of us is to go onto our website, which is www.suncoastbassetrescue.org, and just simply fill out a, an application to adopt and Fred and Wilma could be yours if you're interested in them. Okay, let's get a close-up of these guys. Let's find these two a forever home.